Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy. Please disregard any paint in my hair. I've been painting a little bit um, the last two days and more to go. Perks of renovation. Um, anyway, so today is Sunday and we are going to be checking out another one from Faith No More. And the song is epic. This is the official music video. Um, never seen it before so I'm excited. So without further ado, here we go. I've heard this. This must have come on a radio station. Like it sounds like something that used to come on the classic rock station or something like that. Um, although I don't know how many times. It reminds me of Beastie Boys a little bit. Just the style of vocals. <laughs> what a change up on the vocals. The uh, the heaviness of the bass, like the bass is really heavy and has a, a good bit of bounce to it. And the way his vocals are just take me back to music from a different era. You know what I mean? I know I've heard this I don't know how many times, maybe once, maybe five times. I don't know. I just recognize the melody, but I really like it. It has just a, like this really cool energy to it. Want it all, but you can't have it. I like that I can understand him. So I really like that it seems to be going verse, chorus, verse, chorus. I don't know the structure of the song, but it feels like this is the third chorus. Like there's been a short verse, short chorus, short verse, short chorus, repeat a third time, which is really different from, I think, any of the music I've heard. Just the structure of it so far. It's really, this is really unique. <laughs> <laughs> the way he is saying that is so funny. Very trippy video. Oh, I like what the bass is doing right now. music is so cool. I love their outfits. It takes me back. The denim and the bright yellow and blue and like pinkish. Goodness, it takes me back. Such a cool structured song. I know on the one hand I want to stop pausing so much. On the other hand, I'm just trying to be careful with the copyright. Um, 
I like the way it felt like it seemed like there was like a little bit of a bass instrumental right before the guitar instrumental started. I could be wrong, let me know. Um, but I really like what was happening there with the bass guitar and the drums. What is What is he saying right before? What is it? He's saying, is it? What is it? <laughs> Random fish. I don't know what he was saying before, but what is it? What a calming... Oh! What like a peaceful and calming way to end the song. Because the song had this kind of, I don't know, punky punch to it or something. Uh, I don't really know what words would even apply there. But then that piano at the end was just kind of like tranquil, dream-like state change from the song. I paused a lot, so I think I said pretty much everything I could say during the song. Very cool. I definitely have heard it at some point on the radio but never paid attention to it you know how when something comes on the radio and you kind of like don't really pay attention and then something you know comes on and you turn it up i don't know if people still do that i used to listen to the radio a long time ago um i liked the uniqueness of it the structure was very different i i liked how prominent the bass was and the vocals the way his vocals were at least a lot of them were so unique to me and that what is it cracked me up a little bit just the way he was saying it just because I'm not used to it um I enjoyed it so thank you very much for the recommendation thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time have a good one